testing. It's a little bit early. Just checking to see if everything's working correctly. Give people a chance to get in, come into the chat room. Hey, Sylvia. So we got people coming in one at a time here. So we're just letting everybody get in and we still have Six or seven minutes before we get started. Hey, Robin. Hope you're doing good. I'm excited about this auction. See my hand? Okay. Making sure. Yeah, I didn't mean for it to be that way. I'll go back and see if we can. See? I'm trying to turn it off. All right. Hopefully it's opened up now. Hey, Mary O'Neill. Hey, Deborah. I gotta get my live chat. Make sure if you're in the chat mode to click on live chat to the right instead of top chat to make sure that you're right in with everybody. Hey Diane Tucker. Hey 
Hey Trish. What's that? I don't think it is. Can you see? I don't think it's blurry. So all winning bids tonight, if you win, you send your name and address to sandralettart at yahoo.com. So I'll keep that up there during the auction. Hey Angela. Hey Karen. Yes, and if you win more than one painting, they'll come together in one box for you. Hey Robin Houston. Slightly blurry. I don't know why. Put my finger on the camera here. <laughs> I'll zoom in, zoom out, and zoom back in. Make sure I have plenty of space here. Hey, Susan. We've got a few more minutes. Give everybody a chance to get on. Again, if you are in YouTube and you want to chat, you have to be logged in to your Google slash YouTube account. Otherwise, Google does not know who you are and it will think you're spam. So you do have to be logged in if you want to comment or bid. Make sure that you're logged in and make sure on the right hand side of the screen to click on live chat, not top chat. Hey, Carla King. So I, I decided that I would start the auctions back around the first of the month. I had someone that requested that I do it around the first of the month for the people that are on a fixed income or you know they get paid once a month that kind of thing so that's why I switched to today and then my next one will be four weeks from today on March 31st and that will be the day before April 1st so if you want to put on your calendars the next one will be March 31st four weeks from today Hey, Night of Light. I'm going to keep the two-minute timer thing the same, but we're going to try to pause just a little bit longer between the bids to give everybody a chance to see who the winner is and in case anybody's screen is lagging or whatever, it gives people a chance to refresh their screen. And the way it works is I will give a minimum bid for each painting and the bidding will start after I start the timer. And it'll be two minutes and when the timer goes off, whoever gets that last bid in before the timer goes off. Greg is my moderator and he will uh, announce the winner, then we'll move to the next painting. And because we're only doing 20 tonight, hopefully it won't take as long as it has in the past. Um, that'll give me a chance in four weeks to get another 30 paintings or so together. So I do have a couple of uh, pairs of uh, canvases, a couple, uh, one triptych. So 
tried to put in a little bit and a couple of larger ones at the end. So I'm looking forward to it. So I don't know if Greg was telling me to wave. I guess he's telling me to wave. Hey. Oh, Greg was saying he waved at you. So I'll put my head in and say hello. Thank you for coming in to my auction. So it's just five o'clock. I'm gonna let some a little bit of time go by to give everybody a chance to get in that's coming in for the bidding. I hope everybody's had a great Sunday afternoon. Around here it's been about 50 degrees and on the cloudy side we went through a little bit of rain coming here to the studio and we have had so much rain. I don't know about where you live but we have had like record amounts of rain here this past year. I tell you what, our driveway is not paved and it's been just one big pothole. <laughs> so it's been messy. So, snow, where are you, Night of Light? Where do you live? I wish there was snow here. We usually have like one snow or so a year and we have not had any snow this year. So I am hoping we'll get some snow, but I doubt we will. We are going to Colorado in April for almost a week. Illinois, okay. Yeah, I've got a nephew that lives in Chicago. Ton of snow in Vermont, I bet, Robin. It's, all, it's always cold in Vermont, I tell you what, but it's beautiful there. I have been to Vermont. It's been about, I don't know, eight or nine years ago. I uh, went and painted, and I used to be a decorative artist, and I did that for 18 years. I painted in people's homes and did faux finishes and murals and furniture and you name it, I painted on it. And the, I had a customer fly me to Vermont and I stayed for about a week in this beautiful mansion <laughs> on the side of a hill. It was beautiful. I don't know, it's probably about seven or eight thousand square foot house. And I did a bunch of decorative painting. I painted a floor cloth. I painted on walls. I did artwork on walls. I painted a piece of furniture. But every night they took me to a fabulous restaurant. We went to the Von Trapp lodge and ate there and so they lived in that area. I forget the name of the city but uh, we got to see the Von Trapp Lodge and some really cool places in that area. Snow in Indiana, I bet you do. Hey Betty. Hey Karen. Alabama. Raining, lightning and thunder in Florida. Well Lori you're, you're in the warmer spot so you're pretty much good to go, right? Ukraine and Oklahoma, cold, no snow, okay. We've got a few more people coming in. And I know Sunday, I know there's really no good time for an auction. I know there's always something going on in people's lives between family and work and kids and just obligations, you know, going to children's events, you know, supporting your kids and grandkids, and there's just a lot going on in people's lives. I know Sunday, some people have church Sunday evenings. So um, our church doesn't meet on Sunday evenings, so that works pretty well for us, but occasionally they do. Karen, you're ready to complain about the heat. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm kind of one of those middle ground kind of girls. I like, I like, what's that? In a minute. I'm, I love the uh, spring and fall. 
seasons. Those are my favorite times when it gets to be about 70 degrees and the sun still shines and it's a little bit cool but not quite. That's the kind of perfect weather I like. I wanted to show you all this painting I had done the other day. This was the, uh, the one that I did doing the cloudy effect, the Melly D cloudy effect with white enamel paint and Liquitex green medium. And I used a bunch of the deeper metallics, but I added copper in and so it kind of muddied up the, the metallics a little bit. But then I did the balloon smash. So this one I still have and it's like a I don't know. I guess it's a 16 by 20. But the one I did before, which was a lighter version of this, it sold the other night. We had a, our first art walk here in Sanford, where my gallery is, and we had a small turnout, not like a great turnout, but a pretty good turnout. We had a few other artists that came in and set up tables. And if you're in the North Carolina area and you're looking for a place to do a little table with some art stuff and you're, in, you're near Sanford, hit me up and we'll set you up for a First Friday deal. But uh, anyway, a little girl saw that other painting called Heavenly Fireworks and her daddy snuck back in and bought it for her birthday for this little girl. Hey, Jan, le le lady gemologist, her name is Jan, so Jan's joined us and Kim Bates. The freeze there went, just had a freeze there went my vegetables, there went your vegetables, okay, so you lost your vegetables. So are y'all ready to get started? I'm sure you're, hey lavish, lavish soap. Hey Sandra. From Maryland. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This is number one, wash over me. I'm going to set my timer here. Y'all ready to get going? Let's start. Starting the timer, the opening bid is $20. This is Wash Over Me. 12 by 12 inch with the glossy finish. Has metallic gold and then regular gold, red, purple, turquoise. A uh, little bit of blue and lime green. And we got a band that's starting up their practice down in the basement. So if you hear music in the background, it's a band. Hey, Marina. Susan is in at 20. These are kind of some of my go-to colors. The only color I don't have in here that I normally put in with these is probably orange. But it does have that little bit of metallic gold and spots. It's got that little bit of a shimmer. I don't know if you can see the metallic gold or not there. You get little pieces of it here and there. So we have 45 seconds left. Let's see. So Marina is in Minnesota. Not above zero today. Wow. I can't imagine. That's the thing about North Carolina is that we're pretty even keel. 
The lowest we get to is in the teens, and that's not very often. So, 15 seconds left. All right. So Greg has closed the bid and the winning bid is Susan at 20. So I'm going to start the timer on this one. This is number two, which is called Patchwork. It's got a pretty glossy finish. And there is every color in the rainbow in this one. Black and white, hot pink, yellow, orange. Maybe not red. There's blue and purple, green. It's got little pairs of eyes here and there. That's some of those pores you can see, bunches of little eyes. That's the funny part about these cells. And the starting bid was $20. Carla is in at $20. Adjust my light just a little bit so it's not shining and reflecting on the canvases. But. I get it out of that reflection there. Karen at 25. 45 seconds left. And if you win the bid, Sandra Let Art at Yahoo.com. You name your name and email address, and then I will invoice you the total and the shipping added to it, which averages out in most cases to $10 to $15. Hey Kathleen, thanks for joining us. All right, the bidding is over with on number two. I noticed there's a theme in this whole set of paintings that I picked this time, and I don't know how it happened, but most of them are in my, my deeper colors because I do love me some color. So Greg said the winning bid on that is Karen at 25. Violet Explosion, number three. Starting the timer. Purples are one of my favorite colors, so this has all my happy places in it. It's got the violet and purple and a, kind of a lighter turquoise up here. It's not really a baby blue, it's more of a turquoise and it's got regular blue and a touch of black. You got some little eyes going on again. You can see all kinds of little shapes in this one. It's very vivid. I love these colors. Oh, and it has some metallic golds too. It pops out here and there in different places. So, Marguerite from Philadelphia. She's in at 30. So yes, this is some, well, a lot of these are my favorite colors. I have a few that are in the light tones, but most of them were deeper in the color tones this time. I don't know why, but I just, I picked 
canvases that were all in the deeper tones mostly. So we got 45 seconds left. Again, I'll pull it up here so where you can see a little bit better. A pop of metallic gold. Purple and violet. Magenta. Blue. And a touch of white. 15 seconds. I don't know if y'all can hear the drums, but we have a band that practices in the basement down below in this building. So you can hear through the, the ceiling. All right. That was number three for Violet Explosion. So Greg closed the bid here. So Marguerite was the winner at $30, and this is number four. Starting the timer, this one I called Rainbow Bridge. When you have hundreds of paintings, you have, you have to be creative on the, the wording or the title of the paintings. So when I poured this, I, I just saw the rainbow of colors, and that reminded me of a rocks and a stream. So the opening bit is 20, and this is silver here. It's metallic silver. There's a pinch of orange, red, the uh, hot pink magenta color, purple, blue, black. It has a glossy finish. But I love, I love this color combination right through here. So this one is called Rainbow Bridge. It's 12 inch square. Carla's in at 25. We got 50 seconds left. Number four. Then we're going to go to some smaller canvases. I have several smaller ones we're going to do, and then we're going to switch off and go bigger again. Kathleen wants to bid 55 on number 13. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how the bidding goes, Kathleen. 26 for Leanne with 7 seconds. Thanks for joining us, Kathleen. All right, that was number four. This one is so sparkly, y'all. So 26 went to Leanne on the Rainbow Bridge. Going to start the timer here. This is an 8x10. It's super sparkly. Golden Garden. It's all my happy colors, the peacocky colors. I don't know if you can see the sparkles or not. But it's got gold and copper, and then the purples and blues, a little turquoise and white, 
violet. The starting bid is 15 on this one. Because I've got several of the peacock ones coming up, so they all go together really well. So this one is an 8 by 10. Robin Houston, 15. It is so shimmery. This one has the Deco Art Vintage Brass that I love so much. It just shimmers like crazy. It is so shimmery. I do not resin my paintings, but these colors all would be gorgeous if they were resined especially. So it shimmers all over the canvas. And these were in the same video that I did, that I just posted the video a few days ago. I did them last week. And um, so I used the same colors and they all came out just a little bit different. So there's three 8 by 10s that are in these same color tones. So that was number five. It's closed. Winner was Robin at 15. Number six, this is a pretty one too. Starting the timer. Starting bid is $15. It's an 8 by 10. Same colors. This is a dip. Copper and the shim. The shimmer is just so beautiful. And also, I put some iridescent medium in the purple, so the purple has a shimmer to it as well. It's just so pretty. 18 for Robin Brousseau. Carla King, 25. This one is small, but it's packed with some oomph. And look at those pretty little cells up in the corner. This area is so pretty right here on the edge. It almost looks like underwater too. It could be like coral underwater or something. Marguerite, 31. Carla, 35. And we've got 45 seconds left. Can you hear the music in the background? <laughs> Marguerite, 40. Carla, 40. Twenty-five seconds. Marguerite, 42. Carla, 45. Four, three, two, one. Marguerite, 48. You can kind of hear the drums, can you? Yeah, you can hear the drums just slightly, and then a, like a bass guitar. Ooh, this one is so pretty. Number six is leaving. <laughs> 